somewhere right here. Just out of mere curiosity, I'm gonna see if you can actually, like, you know, soft reset. Resident Evil 2. I will take that as a no. Resident Evil 2. Yeah, I'm gonna take that as a no. They didn't give this game a soft reset, unless it's, like... Resident Evil 2. I'm gonna stop doing that now. Resident right, yeah. Evil 2. Sorry about that. In the midst of the T virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors. A young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. Oh, geez, he's like kind of swerving all over the road. What have we got here? I don't know, Leon. It looks like a dead body. You're a cop. Use your policing skills. That guy's a maniac. That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Why'd he bite me? certain in 1998 they already had like the first wave of cell phones out like the ones that were like big blocks what are these things all like, right again, he hasn't gotten to the enough. department yet to get his don't radio move. don't move no what's up with that guy that was a clean hit Argument could be made here that a cop is shooting his gun off at like unarmed suspects. Uh, wait, don't shoot! Get down! <gasps> we can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. No! Get out! Look out! 
So he's shot his gun off at unarmed suspects. He's already like completely trapped the top car. And he hasn't even officially punched okay. in yet. Still in one piece. <gasps> hey, that maniac's gonna win! I'll meet you there. Okay. What if I don't want to survive the nightmare? All right, good. The code is still on. What part about not freaking biting me did you not understand, sir? I'm gonna assume this is probably uneasy. Good. It's still on auto as well. locked. Please pick up whatever jingling or sparkling or whatever the word is. Oh, that's the door that we came, or well, actually, no, that's the jump scare door. Right, we have no memos as Leon. That was unnerving. Such a good cop. Ugh. 
There is nothing here. So this is going to be a very new challenge for me, because I don't know where the hell the freaking, like, faucet or valve thing is. Go down to the eastern office and then the other door I think go somewhere else. Let's go and try somewhere else first. Thanks for being a douche. This is going to probably be like a death if I don't actually leave this room. Ah, oh, yay, I'm in danger. That's great. I might as well save those small keys on us. Claire played through. That was a memo from the Claire playthrough, so I don't need to worry about reading that again. save like so so early in the gameplay let's see let me go and like look at the rest of the police station and see if i can find like a stronger gun Thank you. 
Wow, okay, that's super dandy. Might as well go downstairs and actually go and get the freaking key. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be lucky and there'll be some herbs down there as well. Shotgun. Let me see if I can go into the same room that freaking has what's-his-face in it. That's a big no. Chances are, if I can't go in that room, I can't go in either of the two other doors from this floor. Magnum might be in the star's office, so I'm gonna actually go there because that'll probably be the best gun. It's electronically locked and the door reads library. That's a big no as well, which probably means everything out of this room except going back to the east is probably bad. Just because I got the low health. Just because I don't feel like going through all that other bullshit again. Okay, I'm in very bad shape. J Jesus Christ. Like, being in danger is like, probably like at this point a death sentence. Can't get past that because of the fire, so really this is our only option. 
But we can walk down the staircase fine. Nice. Definitely need this. Oh, we can actually split somebody's fucking body up? wasn't horrifying at all. the map I want than I want anything else. This way you can at least see all the doors. Going to the zombie horde hall. I forgot you can do that. friend Mr. X shows up. <laughs> hmm. This is fucking odd. Let's just mix this up for a full heal. That's probably locked. How did that asshole fucking click me down into fucking caution? Wow. That is some bullshit.
I'm sure if I had the Magnum in my hands, I wouldn't have any of the shit going on. I mean, I have a heal on us, I just really don't feel like using it. Let's quickly see what happens if I use this to go put out the fire. I mean, there's like, I think like one or two more rooms that that'll open up for me. Thank you, crows. They're looking to fucking pick my bones up already. That doesn't translate to zombies. No, 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 no. Why, why is this guy have to appear now? I already see this isn't going to go well. Handgun bullets. He wants to give me fucking handgun bullets. Not much I can do with that one room without the jewels, so it's not worth going to. Although I think there is a key in it. And probably a liquor. I gotta have a healing item. Of 
or a blue card. Why is there a dick liquor in this room? Need the shotgun shells because I have infinite ammo. I definitely need the kill carry the health with me. Don't think I need this wheel till the sewer. I think I should save, just god forbid, because it seems they're throwing a lot of, like, weird enemies in. I know with the Magnum, he's like only four shots, so he should be easy to take care of once I have the Magnum in my hands, which at that point I think almost everything should be super easy. Hopefully that's in the storage locker in the star's office. zombies in here. Kind of hoping the answer is no. That was a waste. There are some important items I need to get in this direction, so and we I think we have a lighter by default. Oh, nice. Wait, 
right, that was the only item, or like, not the item, like, use of that key. Apparently so. Alright, well at this point I'll take it. More healing is good. I think there's gotta be something more, like, useful in this room, though, than just that. Like... I'll take it. That was exactly what I was looking for. like a box of handgun ammo, which I could care less about. I guess this hall is cleared out because of Claire. That's my honest guess.
right, so whatever of the items is in that room with the artwork, I can now go get that, which is probably one of the chess pieces. a lot of you assholes. Absolutely, we'll take the Magnum. Was creepy as fuck. Hey, wait. Missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Just quickly seeing where the other small keys in this game are. I already got the one that was in that one, like, lounge area. The desk in the waiting room, floor one. I don't know where the fuck that is. More than likely, it's just ammo. I 
I called it. I said that that was gonna definitely blow by the time we're in the B campaign and that like like one hundred percent entirely true. Wasn't expecting a freebie. pieces, which is what I figured. Alright, so really there's not much I can do in the Chief's office for right now, because I need Claire to give me the radio transmission that the wall's been blown up. can go back and go and get whatever is in that art room and while on the way there I'll just stash everything else I have in the freaking like storage chest thing and hope not to bump into what's his face Hopefully, just hopefully, we don't have to fucking deal with fucking what's-his-face for a while. That'll be super dandy. I guess it's a ch it's a chess piece. That's two of the plugs.
right, so now that we have all that taken care of, I'm done with the third floor for the time being, and I can't do anything on the second floor either. For two rooms I can go and examine with the diamond key. I don't have the harder club, so I can't do anything in that back alcove over there with, um... With all the zombies that just spawned. So I'm gonna go do the interrogation room first and hope that there's no liquor there, but now because I killed the liquor, hopefully that means like it's dead. Like deader than dead. What am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm going through the freaking bottom floor. Imagine it's gonna probably be another one of the freaking like chest plugs. Hopefully, what's his face doesn't attack me. But I don't think I'm gonna actually get lucky. Ooh, a fast. Like, just fucking does so much goddamn fucking damage. Let me save the health because I have a feeling I'm gonna get attacked by what's his face. Maybe it's when I come back later on with the club key. I'm gonna quickly run back upstairs because I have regular green herbs. I don't want to waste all the freaking mixtures if I don't have to. should have about like one or two spare green herbs sitting in my item chest. Plus, I'm gonna just drop this third and over three out of four out of the uh, plugs on the way there. Believe me with the Western office.
no clue where that last plug is going to be. I know where the one gear for the clock tower is going to be, but what I'm going to need is the crank handle. I'm sure what's his face becomes more of an issue late game, but so far I haven't seen a lot of him, so that's always a good thing. Just because of the nature of this, I'm gonna just save like every couple of minutes. Music looped so weirdly. Hopefully, this is cleared out by Claire from earlier. That's a big affirmative. We developed all that in the fucking Claire playthrough, so I couldn't really give two shits about that. Yes, this is a useless room. A small key. Not that I intend on using it anywhere. Trying to think here. Might as well just go right for it. We just saved and I have full health.
thankfully with the Magnum, it seems to be like instant headshots to the Zombos. Not the right door. My guess is the freaking crank handle for the clock tower staircase. It's probably gonna be somewhere in the parking garage. Oh wow, there's a dude right there. They probably populated because of the freaking door right on the other side of this. You know, because we need a key for it. Zombos can just go right through the door. This door is open. Fixing the power was just that easy. Of course, everyone that works in this department is fucking stupid. Let me go down this way, even though I think this is going to be a, a Claire-only path. Could be wrong.
still am fine, and I still have one regular heal left. Take a look and see what's down here. Might be relevant. Alright, well, since I don't think we have a lot of interaction with What's-Her-Face... This will probably literally be the only option. Which to say there really isn't an option at all. I'm gonna just drop this for now if we go back later and think about it. Honestly, thinking this whole area right here is probably just nothing other than a big waste of time to go and search. Like, maybe I was just hoping that, hey, there'd be like a crank handle or something and we'd all be good to go. Of course, why would they ever do that to me? Or for me? It looks like it's a parking garage. Wong. I'm looking for some guy. She wants to eat your Wong. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block. Only there's a wrecked car. That's definitely like an entrance. Austin Powers type thing. I've been name. trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? Sure, give me a second here. I'm just going to go grab this plan. she's probably going towards the jail, but I'm gonna just be an idiot and go to the kennel first. Just as I thought. Probably a stupid idea, but... Let's pre-kill the dogs first, and hopefully they stay dead. Did 
I somehow miss this as Claire? I mean, we've, we've bypassed, like, so many of the fucking items now, like, it doesn't even matter. Might as well pick it up. I'm sure we'll pass something later. I'm guessing that's the crank handle. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. I'm guessing this is something that Ada has to do. picked up that blue herb. starting now, and you have until midnight to find the house on Haunted Hill. Thanks, Regulus. Thank you for the host. A 
Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. That's a good idea. Let's let's be a good Samaritan. Oh good, she also has all the freaking like firepower in the world. Think with that. It's so we're right here. Just odd considering I don't think I ever was on the other side. Oh wait, maybe I was. Yeah, I think I was. So that's a dead end because that's where Sherry comes from. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! Ada, wait! Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. I 
pick up the key, Leon. That will keep all the herbs on us. God forbid one of these spiders happen to poison me in this very, very narrow hallway. Ugh. Right now, for example. Thankfully, unlike in Resident Evil Zero, where the spiders, like, have, like, offspring that kind of, like, linger around them. That's not a thing in this. Hopefully that's it. That was fairly dandy. I'm actually gonna take the expansion for my fucking item inventory stuff. about the sub gun I guess because we already did the the um the one playthrough as what's her face I don't need those That's a big ass fucking gun. But yeah, since we let me skip both of them as Claire, figuring this would be the harder of the two campaigns anyway. I 
I like how this gun gives like complete instant headshots. This might be another decoy room. I'm almost positive that's a clip of, um, whatever the fuck a clip of. Yeah. Looks like this just might be a little bit of an ammo stash and that's it. Oh. I can tell you I'm glad I checked. Those fans are way, way too loud. I figure we're gonna get attacked after I solve this puzzle. For anyone that's played Ocarina of Time before, I pointed this out earlier yesterday when I ran the, uh, the Claire A campaign. 23 is 1. All he's got is fucking ammo for like the handgun. I'm still lacking a hand crank. So let's see what we got to work with here. Not much.
Without the hand crank, I can't go into the clock tower to go and get, like, really the last chess piece we need. Put this in here because I don't intend on using that. Oh, I will save though. God forbid Mr. X gets lucky. Hopefully, since Claire has recently been through here, there's no enemies. Oh wow, her body's gone. That is almost certainly a picture of Lydia Dietz. That's what I've been looking for the entire time. <laughs> Terrific, I don't like him. I do like this gun, however. Definitely need the crank. Wait a second. Oh, I think I'm short a piece because it's actually in that room from upstairs in the clock tower. 
I think the last piece is found in the clock tower. Hopefully now there's no liquor outside. Zombos, not a big deal. Liquors just suck a lot of dick. So I never checked the extreme end of this place. Not that it was worth checking. up the stairs, Leon. Inside the cage. I thought you said it wouldn't get to you inside the cage. got the story <laughs> Ben uh, <laughs> bitter irony the chief of police a co-conspirator get that scum make him pay hang in there Ben Leon. It's a lot of reading. It's like way too much reading. I'm just kind of chillaxing here, so I'm not going to bother reading tonight. Where are tonight. you going, Ada? To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! Leon, are you 
You still there? We're leaving. Are you crazy? The streets are still crawling with zombies. It'll be all right, trust me. We found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? Because you're a cop on the first day and you haven't really gotten the, uh, the whole cop attitude down. Hopefully these spiders stay dead. It's a big yes. Thank God. which is definitely worth salvaging. this shortly after. You go reject your drugs into yourself again, sir. I definitely need that now. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got bent. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. 
but we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way. What if way. I don't want to work together? Oh, am I supposed to move? salvage like another few of these just because keep one of them on me just because in this room. Thanks. I just saved your life and you're going to run away. All right, let's see this route. Actually, that's off. That is way quicker than Sherry. The one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. She I she ate a lot of Wongs. Now I remember. That's such one an Austin awesome Powers Chicago name. Came to assist the T virus research, used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus, William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you... And the first Austin Powers movie sure. came out in 97. I won't let anyone... Which would have been probably during this game's development. G-Virus? Hence why it's her name is Ada Wong. 
its potential is even greater. I just searched on details. on Google to find out when that movie then was that filmed. Must mean the creature in the police department is precisely my husband William, and it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Where did you get that pendant? It looks exactly like the one I gave Sherry. She dropped it. I've been holding on to it for her. Liar! Give it back to me! Congratulations, Ada. You are now a murderer. I still have no idea what the hell that is. What do you mean? It's perfectly important. Oh, Ada, you are such a boring woman. She's been busy eating some wongs. Well, you've been asleep. Sadly, it wasn't yours. I don't like spiders. Stupid, let's just not be right there. <laughs> Thankfully, this gun, like, pretty much one hit kills most enemies. Why are there fucking spiders, like, in every fucking room? <sighs> I am such an arachnophobic. I gotta freaking like move my like foot up right now in my fucking chair with me.
Probably starting now. And you Thanks, Major Link. Until midnight to find the house on Wounded Hill. And anybody that's hanging out with Major Link that came over. Yeah, no, it's I've been all sporadically streaming. Leon. I absolutely despise the winter. This bullet wound. Because usually I suffer with seasonal easier. depression. Quiet, Leon. I'll patch you up. So it's a lot of sleeping. Like I woke up around midnight. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I passed out somewhere eating dinner last night. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. And I the woke up around, better. like I said, like 12, 1230. It's half the reason in a couple of years I'm probably going to be moving to Florida. Like, I've had it with the winter. We're still short one of the metals, though. I'm going to go back to that previous room. Because in the A campaigns, it's in this room. Which doesn't usually appear... It doesn't appear that it is in this room right now. It's usually on that right pile of garbage. I mean, thankfully we killed the, um, the spiders out here. I wonder if it's in that freaking warehouse section that I completely bypassed, because... In Claire's game, there's no purpose to go down there. I'm thinking we're going to have to go back to the warehouse. I'm definitely making this harder than it seems. It's the only place left. And if it's not in the warehouse, then we're gonna just go back and... Actually, wait, would this other side work? Okay, well, I'll be damned. I 
never mind the warehouse, because it's not happening. Glad I checked the other elevator because in Claire's game, I think only one of the elevators works. That is magnum ammo. I don't want magnum ammo. All right, I'm going to look up the answer on the internet. All right, so it seems in both of the Leon campaigns it will actually happen. There's a dead body I didn't search. Genius. I'm glad I searched the answer on the internet. So we have to find some mercenaries bodies and and those bodies should have them be uh, the wolf metal ah I didn't come back here <laughs>
pretty much like finding Zora's domain or opening up Angler's Tunnel and their respective Zelda games. Get the waterfall out of the way. Not that you can't see the entrance, like, right behind the waterfall. Alright, so obviously this must have gone with Claire already. Claire should be ahead with Sherry. Thankfully, Ada is fearless. I think I even took a lot of damage. Oh, am I supposed to go and actually lead the way? stupid. I, why could I not return down? There we go. I need to use this. the instant headshots. Okay, so that I think is the door out of here. Shotgun parts. Those are not the parts I was looking to actually get. living person, sir. I will take the green herbagery. I think the next room... Oh, blue herbagery.
we finally arrived. There must be something hidden here. Thanks, Ada. Thanks for taking all the easy jobs. Even though I never intend on using the freaking shotgun, I'm gonna just put these parts on it. I need the freaking wheel anymore. Actually, didn't do too bad on the healing considering this is a harder campaign. do we have in this room? Oh, I see a healing item. Perfectly, perfectly good healing item. That can go forever in my freaking storage chest. And useless ammunition because I'm using the um, Capcom Infinite Ammo Code. Which they actually offered up within the game. At least the GameCube port. I think each and every one of them actually does have some form of it, though. <coughs> wow, for like one additional room, they offer an entire map. Might as well just give them the map in the very first room. The offspring of Undertaker and Kane. Yeah, I'll have to like maybe YouTube that. Oh, yay, let's get away from you. when you just give, like, nothing but garbage. Like, maybe healing... It's nothing but flat-out garbage. It wouldn't be garbage if I wasn't cheating my ass off, but... I'm cheating my ass off. You're talking about this theme, Regulus? The one that's playing right now?
This is definitely one of the better pieces in the game. Will you push the activation switch? And the D key is already in there from Claire earlier. I'm always gonna make some kind of stupid joke that's like sexually explicit, but you got the D key and the U key. So you have the uterus key and the dick key. That is, yeah, that's not a good sign. Ada! Ada! Can you hear me? Come on, snap Ada, out Ada, you it. didn't wait. Actually, you are waiting. I should have bought some more healing, but thankfully I only saved a couple of rooms ago. Came back for round two. Actually, this might actually be William Burke, and I think the other battles are all his offspring. Let me stand right there in front of you. Yeah, let me get fucked up. Right, I'm gonna hopefully take him out and then heal. Welcome back. Uh. Hey, take it easy. We're inside Umbrella's secret lab. I'll go find something to treat that wound, so just rest here in the meantime. But I'll only slow you down with these injuries. Go. Save yourself. Hey, I got a bullet wound, bitch. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? I told you, it's my job to look after you. I'm a cop, you idiot. You'll be in danger if you stay with me. I know I've only known you for a short period of time, but I really enjoy being with you. I... I know I'm not capable of caring about anyone, but I don't want to lose you. We're leaving this place together. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Just, just wait a little bit longer. <laughs> I actually have to go into that, like, tunnel there. Well, of course, let's not make it easy. Let's have Leon do all the hard shit.
We're trying to bolt these doors out. It's on, I tell you. You lied to me. There's a puzzle with this box. I'm just gonna bring it down with me. Of course, why would this box actually cooperate and be nice? Stopping a dick box. extra inventory. this goes, but we're going to just try it. I hear a liquor. Alright, so I'm going to guess, based on the shape of this place, Came down here, we search what we needed to search. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I gotta go back upstairs and do the puzzle again. I might as well just drop these ink ribbons while we're up here. with me.
I don't know if this is actually meant to be done later, but we're gonna just try it now because we're stupid. is marked something room, power room. My GameCube is obstruct in the bottom left corner of my TV, so some of the words are, like, not showing for me. Hopefully that box actually stays there now, but clearly it's something we do later. We would get fucked up. I know what happens in this room. Where the fuck is there an elevator? I'm gonna go back up. Now let me just quickly grab more healing, this way we have it on us. Maybe that elevator from the previous room that we couldn't actually freaking do anything with, maybe that's what I needed to interact with. There you go.
All right, so this must have been like just weird. Hold up. Unless this is a separate one. Can't interact with the control panel, so I'm going to assume that Nice. Can I please go around this corner? I need a card key. Great. Ooh, more healing. Yes, sure, I'll take it. Can't beat the game without it. He's actually downstairs in the one lab, but we're gonna just go and check out this area first and make sure we've exhausted all our options. Which all our options right now are completely exhausted, so we're out of here. Two doors to choose from. That's lovely. Ooh, lab card key. I'm glad I, I searched this room. Must have saved when I did it with Claire. <sighs> this is stupid. Ugh. 
I have a ton of green herbs. If I can just find, like, one green herb, I'll be happy. Yeah, but that's a full heal. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> I gotta go back to the item box. Wasn't there blue herbs in the previous room? This is probably the wrong room. I'm not looking at the bed, I'm looking at the herb. I gotta have plenty of healing. Either that or I never actually killed them. If I activated the gas, and why couldn't I use that? I hate these fucking things. Oh, come on, you dick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Somehow I'm still on fine. Somehow I'm still not. I can hate liquors. You all suck the dick. Yeah, Claire, I was I had no problem killing those things. Oh good, more herbagery. Just take it all. I'm cheating my ass off, by the way, so don't hate. that I'm streaming at this hour at all. I need to go and quickly set my fingerprints up. I might need... Oh, great, larva. See where the flamethrower was. Or is. Ah, oh, nice, and I have the key. Perfect. <coughs> they must make things harder on me. Those are magnum parts. I mean, great, I'll put them on the magnum. Said it was in the B4 section.
in the sleeping quarters. Let's find out where this... I'm almost positive I was already there. Yep, I was already there. People that are really stupid. People that are really, really stupid and want to set their freaking bed on fire. This would have been so much easier if I actually paid attention. Must you be a fucking Ugh. cock? <sighs> oh, nice. That plant we had from earlier is dead. Or is it the upstairs level that had him? We'll find out shortly. Ah, uh, it's dead. It might have been in the room with the liquors. I'm going to probably go with the, it being in the room with the liquors. Which hopefully stayed dead. They should have. That's all shotgun ammo. Okay, that's an ink ribbon, which I really don't need right now. Fuck it, let's just take the shotgun ammo, because maybe it'll allow us to grab something else. No, of course not.
just quickly pulling up IGN again. Location seven sleeping quarters, whatever the fu whatever the hell that means. Unless that little section downstairs by that storage locker is actually what it is. Or I'm just a derp, a dumbass. A, a derp dumbass. Like, derp, derp, derp. Quickly see if I can actually kill this thing. I'm going to take this as a monumental no. I don't think I ever looked in that locker. I thought I heard one of those fucking things breathing again. Register our fingerprints. <laughs> the 
This way when we go back upstairs, we're all set to go and open that, like, secret door. Those things didn't fall in Claire's game, either that or I'm just blind in it. this. Oh great, I should have combined- I'll just leave that there because really it serves me no purpose right now. We'll pick it up on the way out. Ever since I put these new parts on the gun, my gun's got monumental kickback. Yeah, let's just grab this now. I'll mix it with another green herb I have. It's gotta be that room on the fucking... the right bottom side of the map. The one we couldn't enter before. Before I go there, I'm gonna go to the room that we've unlocked with, uh, the submission of Claire and Leon's fingerprints. I'm gonna take a wild guess. It's probably gonna just be, like, a freaking, like, ammunition trove. <laughs> Please, like, not get clinged up on stuff. As far as I know with Leon, we don't have to actually ever go back down there. Oof. 
Music is fucking spacey as fucking hell. That might be for the machine gun, which might be the, um... Yeah, I'm gonna guess MG means machine gun. Music is fucking spacey as fuck. Looks like the remains of a failed experiment. I can't believe two strangers can just register their fingerprints throughout their, you know, this computer system. They come into our lab. Register your fingerprints at your own freaking leisure and then... can go and like get into our top secret area. They probably would have gone down quicker if I had just keep or um kept the um thing in my hand and then like burn the bodies afterwards. <sighs> nope, I don't need magnum bullets. There, there's got to be another purpose though in this room.
This is not considered the power room. It's got to be that room that was all the way back at the very beginning of this area when I was moving that box earlier. That's got to be the power room. down from the elevator, so I guess we're going to be going there. Husband, I know what you're looking for. You came for the G-Virus, didn't you? But you will never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. What? You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> you're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the Agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie! No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. That can't be. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. I haven't seen him in a while. I was beginning to wonder what the fuck happened to him. Alright, these are completely useless. save ribbon things. It's kind of inconvenient that they place them separately, but this is definitely a very good place to actually save. Oh, the 
box might have actually stayed where I put it. It'd be super swell. Just leave you behind. I'm just a woman who fell in love with you. Nothing more. Ada. No. Ada! The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat. The self-destruct Great. Look what you did, Ada. Your body smashing into the computer activated the fucking self-destruct mechanism. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. I will always remember you. Goodbye, Ada. That, that's not necessary, sir. Leon, you made it. Claire, is that you? Where are you? I can see you on the monitor, but never mind that right now. Leon, you have to go back and get Sherry. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Wait a second. What are you going to do? Where are you going? I still have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. Hello? Claire, are you there? Claire! The security office? It's not quite the same when you're when you're saying Claire as it was when you said Ada.
not nice. There's a save area. I've come to get you out of here. Claire is waiting for you. Please say she walks on her own. Or, you know. Don't give us any use to the fucking item box or the typewriter, because that would just be intelligent. Rest here for now. Claire should be back soon. Is there anything of use in this room? I'm gonna take that as a monumental no. a good spot to save. That might actually be helpful. flamethrower. God, we're not on a timer right now because I'd be failing miserably. Great. Why must you time me, game? Actually, let me quickly look underneath this. No, I don't want to do that. Thankfully, I saved when I did. I just feel like there's going to be something underneath here that I need to get. Or not. No, because let's just, like, blow 30 seconds worth of time. Thank 
like a douchebag. fucking stop us from picking that up. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Way better than, like, what they said in, like, the remake when they, uh, puncture the eye of the final William Birkin form. I think we're done on that timer. I should have brought like another like healing item just in case. Like for that last boss, I mean. Sherry's unconscious. I have the antidote. If I give it to her. Blair, what's happening? Not now. Come on, Sherry, wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. Don't wake up, Sherry. Just just stay asleep so this game just never ends. 
Where am I? It worked! Oh, Sherry. You're gonna be okay. Thanks, Claire. It's over. No. I have to find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. that sound in my ear. What was that? Warning. Biohazardous outbreak imminent. The emergency system has been activated. This train will detonate. Repeat, this train will detonate. Terrific. What's wrong? So let's go and check the door. Waste time out of my freaking life. Size vagina with teeth. Buzzing sound is so annoying. Warning, warning. The self destruct system has been activated. Each train compartment will detonate sequentially. Repeat. Each oh train no! compartment will detonate sequentially. Claire! Stop the train! I can't! The door to the control room is locked! What? Claire? What is this day back? Just 
won't quit. Come on, we have to get out of here. Run! Considering how much firepower we've wasted on this thing, I don't know how in fuck's name this explosion does anything to it. Like if it's supposed to regenerate, the more damage it takes. So, it's finally over. Sherry, you look terrible. No worse than you, Claire. Come on, time to leave. Now? What's wrong? Is something following us? We have to go. We don't have any time to waste. Go? Where? Hey, it's up to us to take out Umbrella. <laughs> That ending was fairly lackluster. music from the, uh, the new remake. I mean, you get this at the end, but the new remake you get stuck with like this like horrible country song for like the first X amount of minutes. thoughts for next weekend are probably to do both the uh, other two scenarios. Well, the other two campaigns for the other scenario of the story. The way that is not considered canon. Yeah, that figures I would get a C ranking. definitely going to conclude my night for the night. As stated, though, we're definitely going to probably end up doing the other two uh, campaigns on the next time I stream. Let's see if there's anyone left on right now to actually can host over to.
So at this late hour, really aren't all that many options. But there is somebody that is speed running through uh, Link's Awakening remake right now. I believe he still has the world record, or at least he's at the very top tier of the um, the bracket. And I believe he will be uh, actually doing this at the very beginning of January for GDQ as well. A lucky fuck. But we're going to go over to TGH's channel for now and um, yeah, for anyone that doesn't have any of my social media stuff, I did recently update my Discord invo invite code. I can't talk right now. So that'll, if you're not already part of my Discord page, you can now get into it. You know, just go to your Discord page and then type in those characters right there. I didn't bother putting the entire link up because the link usually never works, I find. over to TGH's channel for the evening. And um, I don't anticipate being back on the next couple of days, but anything's possible. I just, I can never make any promises because half the time I end up sleeping it all away. So we're going to peace out for the night and I'll catch everyone next time.